Well, uh, the baby I love dropped it. a new album. Yeah, I love that nigga. <laughs> yeah, I fuck with the baby. But I, uh, his first week sales were real low. And a lot of people are saying he's been blackballed and so forth. You know, Boosie said it, uh, Meek Mill said it, he said it himself. Other people came by, you know, on social media and said, he's not blackballed. You know, he's just been rapping the same for the last three years and people have moved on to new styles and so forth. No, I can feel them on that. I can. You know, I mean, hip hop is a very interesting place where you could be the hottest dude, you could have the hottest style, but if you keep that style the same, eventually people are gonna move on to something else. And then, and then by him being the type of artist he is, you right, they're gonna move to something else because we always looking for the next best thing. And um, but um, that nigga, he he he, he yeah, he got to try to switch it up. He been killing them. He been killing them. He been killing them. And I feel like uh, some of them other folks feel like when they were saying that um, he been running the same style over and over and over again, and he been doing so much in the uh, game right now where it's it's noticeable. You get what I'm saying? We we look at it, we can hear it, we can see it, that it's noticeable that you finna rap like you rapped in that first on it. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and niggas just have to learn how to get themselves a break, live life a little bit. You get what I'm saying? You yeah, have- I mean, it kind of reminds me of, I mean, when I uh, interviewed Project Pat, we talked about this in the interview, and I think DJ Paul told him, like, it was either Paul or Juicy, I forgot how the conversation went, but it was like, look, you know, you competing with groups like us where there's a bunch of people with different styles. If you want to be a solo artist, you're going to have to switch up your style and right. rap different on right. all these different songs. Right. And, and Project Pat pulled that off. Right. You know, which is why to this day, people are constantly sampling Project Pat and redoing his hooks and, you know, don't save them. They don't want to be saved. J. Yeah. Cole, like that's a Project Pat song. Like, yeah. But Pat, Pat figured it out. He figured out how to switch up his style and rap different and sound different and... He wasn't even a rapper to begin with. He didn't even want to rap, and he he still pulled it off. Yeah, right, right. Well, and, and Pat, 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 he always was cold with this shit anyway. That was made all of us know when Pat was out when uh, we was all kids. And they had that song, walk up to your house, knock on your door, and blow your ass off, ass off. Tell you, <laughs> that, that, that shit was jamming. And, 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 and just from, from that right there, you know, Pat, had already like he was juicy, always been juicy, secret weapon or whatever, whatever. But wasn't a secret because Pat always been putting it down hard, and I've been tripping off uh, what he been doing now, you know, because he don't fully gave his life to God and uh, moving by the Lord's uh, way, and uh, he he. Um, come up with these motherfucking songs and when we be talking to people like we put this little shit up for doing verses for folks and uh I actually started doing I actually started doing a lot of shit Pat uh had been doing on this internet shit. And uh he ended up motherfucking uh doing the motherfucking uh what did uh the the the, the Getty Green album and uh the other Johnny drinks that don't play, you know, he just was so cold on them joints. Where I was like, damn, how he, Pat is killing this shit. Uh, how he was rapping, how he was doing it. The chat like that too, though. The chat like that too. And, and, and Pat always been a motherfucker that been on their head. He been on their head. And what I was saying was that he uh, telling people to look. Don't send me no, if you want me to do a verse for you, don't send me a song with somebody else vocals on there, somebody doing a hook. He said, send me just the scrape beat. I'm going to doctor it up the way I want to doctor it up, and I'm going to uh, send it back to you. And I have been wanting to hear some of the music that he did since he gave his life to the Lord, because I haven't heard it. Uh, but I'm, pri- I'm I'm quite sure he's still saying Project Pat. Uh, he's just not talking about glorifying the bullshit. I mean, yeah. Uh, I looked him up. 
And recently, I mean, he went to go speak at a penitentiary yep, in yep, Memphis. Yep. Uh, he went to go to like a boys and girls club, community yep. center to yep. speak to the kids. It seemed like he's using this part of his life to really give back and educate people and try to no, use himself as doing. an example of what not to do what he did early in life and show how you can turn your life around and right, you know right. be, be, be successful and have you know have a stable life because you never hear you know Pat went through all that bullshit all his arrests and going to jail at, at the at the worst time when he was about to drop an album. To now, you don't hear Pat getting into any type of bullshit for decades. Now. Yeah, ain't nobody gonna never. Uh, play with Pat, uh, period, from his size and the shit he don't talk about. <laughs> so Pat ain't the motherfucker nobody gonna say nothing smart to from right off the top. You know, you can walk in a gas station and he can pull up and you be coming out the gas station and he going in. You're not gonna say, what's up, Pat? You know what I'm saying? Like, like you, you gonna try to think about can I say it? What, what, what? Cause a motherfucker is not gonna play around Pat. Pat ass, he just a terminate. He, the way he look is a terminate. He scared the shit out you. You get what I'm saying? Oh, you know he big as hell. He like what six five or Man, something? Man, that nigga big as a motherfucker. And just imagine a nigga big like him. And, and you can look at his old picture, his young picture. He was a big stout. Look, you know what I'm saying? So by him, uh. Going to jail, you know, he and that motherfucker toning that shit up right, got his muscles and shit. Yeah, Pat was scary like a motherfucker. Nigga didn't want to play with him. So that's the only reason why nobody gonna try to clown Pat and uh, no shit like that. Like I said, a lot of this shit that uh, we don't rapped about, back when we started, we had to be on done it or, or meant everywhere we said. And uh, Pat gonna always stand strong. Yeah, man. Shout out to Pat. Uh, we did an interview together recently. It was a great interview. Uh, I gained a lot of uh, a lot of respect for him after. You know, that was the first time we actually sat down and really going through a story. And just the, just the way he carries himself, I right, thought it was really dope. Right, you know, nice. the way he answers yeah. questions and, and sort of the way he approaches things, and not not ducking anything he ever did. Uh, admits to all the mistakes he made, realizes when he went to jail for right, the gun, right, that was his right. own fault. Right. He didn't sit there and say it was racist or whatever. No, nah, I, I had a pistol on me, I shouldn't have had it. Yeah, he I shouldn't it like have he, had it, he, he, and that, that's I what, got caught. Yeah, and that's what uh, niggas better take from that. You get what I'm saying? That you really can change if you want to change, my nigga. You, know, you don't have to stay stuck into that world where Niggas are pulling guns and doing this and doing that. You can get yourself out of there. No, Pat, Pat always been a great guy, you know, and he's gonna, I, I, I'm so happy for him to be able to uh, switch his life like he did. Mm. You know, like I was finna say it, my fault, like I was finna say it first, it's part of the reason why I, I ended up slowing down a little bit too, because me and Pat was on the road with each other a lot when I was out there in Chicago. I mean, him did a lot of shows and shit. And like you like you say, the way he moved now is just it's a it's some big good good shit.